Sorry for a little uh, technical difficulty issues and shit. We're trying to get right. Uh, this is your boy, Handsome Live. We back in the building with the rest of the team. Claire is there. Y'all see to my right who's back. Y'all already know what it is. You know what I mean? International black, what they call me, y'all. <laughs> y'all fake ass promoters don't be taking trips and shit. You know what I mean? Miami, at a ATL nice, don't yeah. count. You know what I mean? I'll have me though, y'all. Lovely ladies, come on, introduce yourself. Do better than last week and the week before. <laughs> this is your favorite tomboy, Danny, aka Georgie. Whatever you want to call me. <laughs> Everybody got a name for me. So <laughs> it's Bakyo, Tanya. It's Makisha. I'm here again for the people. What's up? And on the phone we have Loving Hip Hop Zone, New York, life. Mariah Lynn. She couldn't make it in today. Something popped, something came up and she ain't wanna, you know, flake, so she definitely showing the love on the phone. Yes. Mariah Lynn. Thank, thank you for having me. Thank you, thank you for still uh popping up. Well not popping up literally, but <laughs> <laughs> reaching out and all I'm that. Sorry. You know? It's just you know, I got these kids and they're not even my kids, but they're my kids. <laughs> oh, you over there on baby baby kids duty? Nah, I I got my nephew and my baby sister, so I know how you feel, girl. I got two kids. <laughs> yeah. Well, we see that you um you dropped that EP or whatever about like a month or two ago. Tell us a little bit about that. Um yes, I dropped my new EP, The Blonde Bomber. Um, it's been out for less than a month now. You can get that on iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, uh, Tidal, SoundCloud. If you can't afford it, you know I'm from the hood, so I definitely want to make it accessible to people who. <laughs> Or, you know, less fortunate or maybe don't got Apple Music or an iPhone That's a or fact. whatever. So, yeah. Apple Music, want, they take $10 a month out of my account, no questions asked. Yo, yeah. $4.99 if you got a student email. Man, listen, man. $4.99 if you got a student email. I ain't been a student in so long, girl. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to have to get my brother's student email. I'm gonna that's, have to that. that's a fizz act. So tell us, about this, uh, tell us about this once upon a time. I was a whole record that everyone is so... Familiar with that we can uh, all relate to. Uh, well, we yeah. can't all relate. I'm I'm saved over here, but we want to talk no. to you about about some of your experiences about creating that actual uh, uh, a record to um to actually figure out that you wanted to even put that kind of statement out there because usually females try to hide that you know they had a whole phase or a whole section in their life. Some of them are still in it. You know, but females do lie about this stuff. Why were you so open and felt like you could make a record of, up out of it? Well, I mean, you know, like I, I most certainly agree with you, and then I disagree with you because you were saying like, oh, you know, you're not a hoe or whatever. But you know, once upon a time came about, and let me just say, like, I was literally like, I was so afraid to put the record out that like I had people tell me, "Are you crazy? How can you say that?" And then I had people who were like. Girl, oh my God, I wish I could fix that. Like, I wish I could just, you know, live and be and, you know, just say that, you know, I'm a hoe. But it wasn't like that. Like, I was trying to downgrade women or I was trying to, you know, um, you play a woman any type of way because I'm a woman myself. But, right. you know, when I put the record out, it was more or less like, you know, everybody's had a whole moment. You could be a hoe with one man your whole life. You know what I'm saying? you just a hoe for that man. That's, that's your relationship, maybe your husband, right. your boyfriend, right. your partner, so what, whatever. So, but, huh? 
hustle over everything. Ho. Right. Hustle over everything. Oh, okay. oh, hustle over everything. That's, Ladies, don't, that's, be, don't be mad fire. when I start calling your hoes. Hustle over everything, y'all. <laughs> that's fire. <laughs> I'm so, losing that. So, what actually made you want to stop being a hoe? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what you well, mean? Well, the one day well, the had an epiphany. Was, like, honestly, I never was a like. Cause there's different levels to the hoism. You know what I'm saying? Like, can the hoism be deleted? Hoes, um, you can't no. get your no. She said no. Okay, Drea, Drea, we're gonna need you to call next week, Drea. You can bleach your hoeness. No, you can't. I well, believe shout you can out bleach to your hoeness. Drea. <laughs> I actually seen that interview and I I died laughing. But um, no, I mean what she was trying to say, I think is more or less like you know, if you did some whole shit in the past and you know you are trying to turn a new leaf and you know I guess you know you marry an athlete and you have a whole different lifestyle and aesthetic set for yourself. You know mm. what I'm saying? Because, it is, like I said, it's level to hoism. Right. But for me personally, like, I was never a ho-ho, like, out there, you know, smashing all types of dudes. I was never a prostitute. So what kind of ho were you? I just, she get into I'm it. the type of ho that, like, I could be in a relationship and be faithful, but if I, like, if you cheat on me, I'm going to suck another man's dick. Probably your what? boy. What? <laughs> Well, that's the trifle is of all trifle hoes. <laughs> like, give nigga some, level 99. Yeah, give nigga some pussy. Don't suck his dick. Yeah, that's crazy. Facts. That's <laughs> way too passionate. <laughs> yeah. Facts. And like, I'm going to make sure, like, it's your right-hand man. Because oh. I feel like oh, oh, no. I love no. her. I love well, her. I love listen her. Listen to me. Listen to me. Her. We are going to be fighting. That's I'm right behind fact. you. <laughs> that's a, I'm right yeah, behind you. Yeah, yeah. I got to get you out of here after that. I'm right I behind you. Hit him where it hurts. Your, mother, where it your hurts. motherfucking last song is going to be Once Upon a Time, Girl. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga done killed me now. Tupac, what's up? But if you don't cheat on me, then you don't got to worry about me being a hoe. You get what I'm saying? And mm. it's the same sense for like, you know how like men will meet a girl on the first night and if you sleep with them, some men will be like, oh, she a hoe. Some men might spend the rest of their life with you. So I don't know. know one I don't know a man who would actually want to spend like wouldn't call a girl a hoe after fucking with her. Well, fucking her on the first night. I mean, girl, I got plenty of friends that they got rings on their finger and they fucking suck the first night. That's right, right girls. Fuck. I be telling girls, like, fucking suck the first night, man. That's what's up, man. I'm proud of you. Mariah Lynn for president. <laughs> Get this hoe in office. <laughs> Mariah, I got a question. Um, How does it feel being on a show with other female artists from New York City? Like, is it is it all love or is it like tension really behind scenes and all that? Um... I don't, like, honestly, for me, I feel like, like, being on the show with these women is definitely, um, a task, I would say, because, you know, like, it's different egos and stuff going on, and, you know, some people might be a little bit more humbler than others, and, you know, when I go into a scene, like, I'm basically going off your energy. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, Mariah Lynch, she's so aggressive, and, you know, hopefully in years to come, if I do come back on the show, I can show y'all a little softer more intimate side to me but no it's because when i go into these scenes if you give me cunt i give you cunt if you give me nice it depending on how i feel that day i might give you nice but i support all females in the industry you know what i'm saying if you rub me the wrong way or you say some sideways shit out your mouth then i'm gonna have to set your head straight but besides all that i think that i support all females like in the industry every single female because i respect the hustle the dollars Mm, gotcha. So you got any collaborations coming with any of them? Yeah, Parties I mean, you know, I can't really spill too much, but I will say that I do have, for the first time, uh, a huge major A-list collaboration coming. That's, mm. that's congratulations. Dope. That's, that's, dope. Dope. that's dope. That's a good thing. Thank you. And I appreciate that. I think I think a lot of people don't know about your past. Uh, that you used to actually be a dancer as well. I would say stripper, but I wanted to like dress it up a little bit. So you used to no, actually dance. No, I never stripped. No, babe, I never stripped. What I you did? In, I worked in the, I worked in the squeeze lounge and we hawking as a go go dancer. And then I bartended for like a year, and I was like, yeah, you know, bartending is kind of like shaking your ass too. So right. I don't know. Did they did they make you put on like a thong and shit? Yeah, like I mean, you know, some places they will require you to wear a thong, but I was I will always be the bitch to get in trouble. Like they'll take your booty shorts off. Nope. Nope. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so you was like a strip tender. I think they call them strip tenders. Is that a is that a saying? Don't you tell Bernice that. <laughs> <laughs> She's an entrepreneur. She's an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Oh, 
and he got another one. I thought, <laughs> he got was, I thought there was a stripper I done bought singles and all this shit out. <laughs> Damn, I'm about to, we about to really have a good show. So listen, before we let you go, we we definitely want to reschedule and get a rain check so that people can actually get to physically see you and, you know, we can further the actual conversation. You know what I mean? Sure. I mean, whatever questions y'all want, y'all can ask me now while I'm on the phone. You know, I'm, I'm here with it. So stepped away so I mean any more questions ask me now or forever hold your peace until I come back <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up any uh, any other questions for, for you yeah? oh man just best luck with all that you're doing definitely, mm-hmm. definitely. definitely. and we and we see you shooting a, a video you have a new a new record about to drop right What what is it called well I got a new record out it's actually also my EP The Blonde Bomber which you could download stream buy anywhere now mm-hmm. um, I have a video Too Much Money in the Bank you can subscribe to my YouTube uh, Mariah Lynn I'm on SoundCloud Mariah Lynn also if you want to stay in tune with anything that's going on with me you can also subscribe to like Gwen and Entertainment I am signed to DJ Software Management so shout out to him and the whole Gwen and team yes, shout, um, out shout out to you know Mr. On Time Film T just shot my video for one of the songs of my EP called Scammer. I'm dropping Scammer, visuals yes. every single week until the album time comes. That's what's up. And, you know, I just want people to know that, like, I've put out so many singles. And, you know, people are always saying, like, you know, you put out these bops. You put out these singles. And, you know, now it's time for me to really show the labels, like, look, I'm just not a single person. Like, I can really do this. Like, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So EP is out right now. Album is out right now. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. At Mariah Lynn Boss. Follow me on Twitter at Mariah Lynn Boss. And make sure y'all stay tuned to see if I'm going to be a season eight cast member. One hey. last question. One last question. You, um, I don't like bringing in issues and all that, but yeah, you still got your own problems with um, Major Galore? Um, no. Actually, you know what it is? It's like like me and Major are like stepsisters. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're, because she she's not going in anymore. So, oh, she got um, kicked out? But we're like. I'm sorry. I said she got kicked out. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know about her situation. I just know that the only Gwen and Entertainment artists right now are Luga Cash, Mariah Lynn, Adria, Southside. and Eva. So shout out to them. And they all got projects coming out too. Mm-hmm. So make sure y'all follow them on social media via you know YouTube and all that, and show love to my squad because we out here working. But um, as far as Major goes, you know I wish her the best of luck in any endeavors that she indulges in and yeah that's what's up got you that's what's up well thank you very much uh we'll try to reschedule for you to actually come up here for september and we'll go from there absolutely thank you so much for having me appreciate thank you, you. welcome get back to them kids no, in the toilet bowl son <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no 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 see these, see, these kids they know better they know better yeah, that's what's up, that's what's up. <laughs> Have a good day. Y'all stay blessed. Enjoy. You too. Have a good one. All right, y'all, focus on me now. Focus on Yo, me, man. Bro, <laughs> I did not miss you. Like, Live, let's go. Let's go. Let's back, the only one. Black success. No back Listen, I, I, I want y'all to understand, because a lot of motherfuckers don't got passports. You understand? Motherfuckers so? don't be traveling. They don't be doing nothing. You, you understand? Black they talk about they getting money. They can't, say they the, can't get no money. I say the good you know time I mean? just for you, man. That's what's up. Now, my wallet could barely yeah. close. Just let y'all know. There's a lot of money in my wallet. It could barely close. A lot of you know singles. What, what you mean? <laughs> no, the singles is, is in my pocket. The money is in the wallet. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm That's making rain on you, baby. Stop Listen, playing. Listen, man. While you was in Bali, man, there was a lot of shit going on in the R&B world, man. Was it? Yeah, man. A week ago, we talked about Usher. Uh-huh. This time, we don't talk about Bobby Valentino. Oh! <laughs> we gonna talk about some transgenders up here. Oh, no. man. Yeah, I man. Did somebody just get in trouble for talking about transgender? Yeah. All of, but, a lot of it. Yeah, you always gonna get in trouble for talking about that community, but this is what we do at Brown Holy Water. <laughs> Fuck it, man. Oh, you know man. what I'm saying? So, the question about trans- transgenders, as everybody know, Bobby Valentino got caught up in the hotel running out with his dick out, trying to hide. <laughs> he run out trying to be anonymous like his soul. <laughs> he From the transgender or whatever, and he put out a, like a, like a press thing saying he didn't know or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's, it's completely bullshit probably. You know what I'm saying? He looked like he probably one of them type. But the question is, how soon should a trans man or woman identify themselves to a person that's interested in Immediately. Them? That's, I, I definitely say like, if I see you in the club, like, yo, what's up, shorty? I'm not a shorty, my nigga, I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> 
Tell me I'm rich. I'm like, oh my bad, bro. I'm saying I'm out of here, but some people, I I think it's it's funny because sometimes I don't want to say they try to lead them on sometimes, but I could possibly see like I've seen some crazy work these doctors are doing. These like mm-hmm. men are really looking like females, and you can't get caught up. Off rip. This is why you gotta get out rip. the game. I mean, you can try no to get out the game. Out. No, Yo, you gotta tap son, out these days. You can Listen, you try to get out the game, but then you try to get out the game with a nigga. It's no, but you look, true. You got once your they said, attached, and six months once, later, like, thing is, if you got a dick, once you got they a said dick, you could get like, artificial dick. abs yes. and you could get a dick increase with a fucking remote control to make your dick hard, <laughs> I said the game is ugly. You gotta it tap is. out. You gotta tap out and you gotta ask for baby pictures. All right, well, you bet. How fast you think a trans should, What's trans man or woman should identify right. themselves as? Well, you know, it should be some kind of sign or something. You you should, you, should, you gotta put sign, that out I'm there. About you gotta put that out there. And it's a lot, it's too many dudes dancing in these clubs you can't dance with, now. with, dudes is dancing with, with the men too. in the club. But they don't even be, that's the, I've seen a video but they like don't that too. Know. He was getting a dub, he thought it was a girl. But I you, thought he wanted to fight. But you gotta that's investigate. Crazy. You can't How, investigate in the club? Listen, man. Bro, I went playing. to Atlanta. I swear to God, Jesus. Just the worst place to go to Atlanta. Yo, I went to Atlanta. I wasn't sure because the, sh- the, the the stripper was Spanish, and you know Spanish dudes they they could go female very easy because they mm-hmm. the motherfucker got that that motherfucker features. look. Mm-hmm. So so the the female back looked it looked a little wide though. I'm like I'm not sure, dog. The last thing I'm gonna do is be the nigga throwing the money on her and putting it on her. So I was just balling them shits up and just throwing it on the stage. I was like, yo, you know what? You gotta catch me from a little distance. I can't be in this picture. You understand? All my friends taking pictures, video. You just I'm like, don't know. Nah. I'm just like, yo, I'm, I'm back here with it. Cause you don't know, you can't be that person. And I feel like people are just putting themselves out there to be that person. And some dudes like that and act surprised when you catch they them. They do. Mm-hmm. And sometimes like they, they be knowing. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the trends are telling. Sometimes they be knowing, my God. <laughs> sometimes they're tell them and they still be with it like yeah like, that's why you got but if, I'm saying, if like, it could be a secret y'all yeah, heard that man's feel? voice you heard that man's mm-hmm. voice when he was like excuse me Bobby you left yet there's whatever some like, you can come in. there's some girls that got deep ass voice no, no, true but I, got, a, I know a friend like, like you can, you look at Keisha from Total I and that's true, like, <laughs> but at, but what what I'm saying is he didn't have a woman's voice. He had a male trying to be a woman's voice. Like there was there was nothing in his voice that made is, me think, nah, that's how a female. Long do you think? Um, there's no how long is right you away. You can meet a dude, nigga, woo you because they got chicks that look like and that's muscles true. Muscles and all that. They look just like dudes. You talking to him for three, four months. Your feelings get. They like, I got a secret. I was born a woman. Like, that's kind of fucked up. That is. That's crazy. So how long do you think? People think get you killed over that. Yeah. Like, they and do. That's, and that's what it was about. That's what little DeVos said. Like, if I ever, like, got into it with a, like, sexually with a trans, you know what I'm saying? He found out then, like, you possibly get killed. You playing with somebody's sexuality. Like, yeah, you're trying to confuse yeah. me in the head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Y'all saying yeah. we don't kill you because you were trans, but you try to pull a wool over my eyes. Like, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's kind of crazy. You, you got to put it out there. You got to put it out there. That's like, that's like, Yo, you gotta put that out there, man. That's crazy. I can't even That's imagine that. Listen, fellas, be Tell like me. Feel. Tap you, out. Get a ring. You got Go a lot ring of uh, fans in the um, the LBGB uh, community, whatever. It is. Um, Yo, how do you feel? When did? How soon should they identify themselves? Cause some feel like it's their secret. They don't need to. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I have a lot of feelings about this topic. Uh, yeah, and this, and this comes from I ah, shut up. And this comes from like actually. You know, actually having a sit down conversation and talking to somebody who was trans and they're really telling the story of how it was, like difficult, how difficult it was going through transition, dealing with family, dealing with stuff. You know, I, I worked at the bank and then one day a man walked into me. Uh, it was a full, a man walked into me. He's like, oh, I'm here to change my name. I'm like, okay. When he came up to me, his ID, everything was female. Like, I was like, there's a first in court, I was like, wait, you really gonna do this it's really a trans and he started opening up he he started opening up to because the first time i asked like how you want how you want me to speak to you he's like i'm, I'm a man referred to me as xyz that was the first like i had a moment in life i was like shit how do i go really go about this are you a are you janet or james today he's like i'm james this is who i am you know you could talk to me as such he's like it's nice to actually be able to talk to somebody without them like 
looking at you and trying to figure out why and like ask you a whole bunch of weird fucked up questions. Mm -hmm. And he was telling me a story how difficult it is. I'm like, you know, not for nothing on some real shit. It's really brave what the fuck you're doing, especially in today's society. To take that step to make yourself happy, I'm all for it. However, that don't fuck nobody else happy as well. If you, it's not like let's say you went to a gay club or something. You 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 talking to somebody who may or may not go both ways or may know you a man. You're coming now into the straight world where people are heterosexual. You know, not for nothing as much as you're identifying with a certain sex now. What happens when you get into a relationship? You want to have stuff like want people people want family. What people want kids. People want to be able to do yeah. certain things. Yeah. Like, you can't just shortchange somebody now because you feel comfortable being a man now or you feel comfortable being a woman now. you got to think about the other person as well who didn't know, who didn't have a choice. Um, in terms of identifying, it has to be as soon as possible. But it, it, I don't think it should be in that first conversation because you, let like, we in a club. I'll hey, take your number. I'm thinking I'm taking a girl gotta, number. For me, it's good. For me, it's like you need a better environment to have that conversation. No, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna you in that environment. No. No, I'm not, listen, okay, I'm not gonna so tell you I'm a, I'm a nigga in the club Why when not? you got alcohol and you can fucking straight right to me. I'd rather see, but, be but in a this better, is, but this is what's fucked up. Nah, let me tell you I'm what's just fucked up the about that. Environment should be better. The misrepresentation. No, this is what on a date. This, this happened a woman on a date with a good no, woman. No, no, listen. This happened a woman all the fucking time because dudes pretend like they got money, then they get pregnant and find out nigga broke. He can't afford diapers and infant milk. And all the shit that you need, you like damn. Why you was fronting like you had it? You ain't know he had his front out, out outfit on and the fake chain and all that shit. This is the same shit. Don't false advertise. Whoever you are, you gotta say that shit. I actually it's think facts. this is worse than that because yeah, it's even like worse. Like, this is like somebody said, acting with tough. This, this is, this is like, like your, imagine one of your man's acting tough topic. all day. He acts super gangster, and then you finally got beef. It's, oh, I know exactly what I'm gonna call. I'm gonna go call this nigga. Yo, so we got drama. These niggas over there. there. Uh-uh, I wanna go over there. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> you talk Tupac shit every day. You understand? Nah, you gotta put it out there what you is and who and you who is because fine. son, you, you gotta let truth. that person make that decision. Yep. Like but Bobby Brown made no. that decision. Don't no way you're behind those closed doors. There's that something decision. you're not. That's some bullshit, man. Exactly. Hell yeah. I'm not, I'm not with that. You don't don't play around with somebody's sexuality, yo. I can see even off the rip, yo. Damn shorty. Nah, I'm not shorty. <laughs> There's some men yeah. I like that, but then again, it's, it's still it's people still transitioning into trans. It's like some people still don't know how to react. And that's to fine, it. but that doesn't mean that you should be deceitful. That doesn't mean that yeah. you shouldn't tell the truth. They if, need you, a club. if you're still transitioning, Listen, if you feel I, good I about being a, a woman, why you can't? Why you can't? A club is a bad place. I think a club is a bad place to to tell. Oh, by the way, my man, because like I said, they gonna hit you with a henny bottle. Like they gonna throw a henny bottle in your head. That's what I'm saying. Like I rather guess to get out of the club, but you still tell them as soon as possible. No, but you shouldn't be in the club. Exactly, nine times out of ten. I can't party because I'm a nigga. Nigga, nah, you gotta go to a whole different club. I ain't gonna lie to you. You gotta go to a whole different club, especially if you trying to put on like a freakum dress or something like that. You try, you trying to, you trying to bait, you trying to, you trying to bait, you trying to bait a straight dude or shit. People go to the gay club and straight people go to the straight club for the most part. But. They don't, and the trans and all that, they don't be in like the regular clothes. We are not against transgenders. If you want to change your sex, do do your thing. All I'm saying is that you can't be baiting motherfuckers and then be mad at the reaction. You understand? Especially in no damn club. Ain't nobody finna be embarrassed in front of 500 people. They dancing with you. His man, his man recorded that. His man recorded it. They say the song. Yo, he was in there. He was somewhere. You know a motherfucker having a good time. He out there. He out there with it and shit. You know what I'm saying? Come down. You know what I'm saying? Come down. 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 Come Thoughts in his head, and now he finds out that that's, you're not that's... even the sex that he thought you were. I'm yeah, not gonna tell you I'm a nigga bitch that's in freaky, lust. Man. It's not happening. You better tell me. I'm just telling you. Outside is gonna be a sim. It's gonna be a sim. It's gonna happen. All right, for the second part of the question, though, um, as Clarice Day has been going around, they changing a lot of the bathrooms from male, females to just like bathroom. Like mm-hmm. it's unisex kind of thing. So should trans individuals be forced to use a particular bathroom? I'm gonna speak mm. on it first. I say they probably need they should get their own bathroom maybe. Why? I don't feel like cause this type of the trans is not has nothing to do with changing your sex. It's like how you identify. 
So I could get up right now and walk to a female bathroom and nobody could say nothing to me because I said I identify as a female. You can't shame me enough that I'll be in there with the little girls. You know what I'm saying? It could like I ain't say they nobody's pedophiles and stuff, but that's how type of stuff you crossing the line too much. Like I wouldn't want no mm. grown man walking into no bathroom with my young daughter mm. talking about I identify as a woman. That's I need to be in. Nah, because if that's the case, I could dress up, act like a woman, and be in there trying to molest little girls, mm-hmm. or you know, vice versa. On the, on the flip side, like I think whatever sexual body part you was born with or have, that's what bathroom you should use. Like I wouldn't care if like a a, a, a trans woman came into the. If this a man, you want to stand at the urinal and piss. You know what I'm saying? Or even if you go into the, because we got little potty stations going there. You you wearing a wig and all your shit go. Sit down, pull your dick out, piss. But you know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be allowed to walk into the female's bathroom. That's just how I feel. That's right? a fact. If you have that sexual orientation, that's what you bathroom you use. That's just me personally. I don't think they should be mixing it up. But this is the way it's going now. If you identify as this, you can use that. And that's not cool. I don't know, that's me. But how about y'all? How y'all feel? <laughs> I don't know. That's just, I agree that's with just you. Weird. I agree with you. I have two children, so I mean, it's the same thing. Like, if I, I wouldn't want my sons in the bathroom, it confuses them, especially when they're yeah. young. Like, they you know so what I mean? Questions. Yeah, so many questions. Like, that just changed the whole ride yeah, home. Yeah, now, <laughs> now I gotta answer questions. Now you gotta be like, now shut up. Like, don't ask right. me no questions. Or you gotta like, nah, you know Mike, what I mean? was a tall no, girl out with a penis. Huh? Yeah. You, you know, I just feel, I, I don't, I, I think that they should have their own bathroom as well. I just think it confuses. I don't have nothing, anything against that community at all. You know, I have, you know, friends, you know, females and males, so I don't... Until the sex change is made, I guess. That's you a, yeah, yeah. if the sex change is made, woman. yeah. If you have if, a penis, use the man's Yeah, room. that's, that's it. I agree. Even you coming there looking awkward, you stand up there, like I said, you got your wig on, you pissing in the man's back, you're still I a gotta man. explain that, why this man that's with right. a wig on got mm-hmm. his leg cut just <laughs> taking... You know what I mean? Pissing, <laughs> pissing in the urinal like mob. Like there was a female with a penis that was peeing in the urinal. Like you know what I mean? That's mm-hmm. just something that you have to explain. And how do you explain that to your children? I I'm don't not, know how to explain I'm that. I'm not to my even use. I'll be honest with you. I'm not using the bathroom as a motherfucker in there is suspect. Dog. <laughs> I, I, listen, I'm a wait, jeez. It's all yours, famo. No offense, you know what I mean? But it's all yours, jeez. I can't be caught up in that. You're. Bad girl. I think, especially when you when y'all bring kids in situation, that's really where I'm like, yeah, we really gotta draw a line. But if you make a whole bathroom for a trans, that's like, mommy, daddy, why I can't go into that one? Then that really has a fucked up conversation too. I think it should be, um, you can identify wherever you wanna fucking identify. But if you start to look like a man, do not walk in the female bathroom. If you start to look yeah. like a woman, do not walk into the male bathroom. That's how I feel about it. It shouldn't be. It sh- it shouldn't be like you have your own shit in the middle. Cause I don't believe in that. Cause that's a form of discrimination. It's kind of like, well, I'm not good enough to pee near you, or not. I'm not mm-hmm. trying to give you aids. I'm not trying to do whatever. Mm-hmm. But. I don't want it to be that, but I want it to be at the point of, like Lass said, the, the sex change or where, where the identification really starts. It's not just me saying, looking like a a woman, but saying, I think I'm a man. But, but That's different. Hold on. How, how, you said it's a form of discrimination if they get their own bathroom. I, I don't agree with that because be, if a be, man, if a man okay, was to walk into a there female was white, bathroom. There, okay, law, 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 law. I was way better than law. Law, law, law. Focus. focus. <laughs> Focus, baby. Sorry, but what I'm, what I'm saying is this. Sorry. If a man walk into a female bathroom right now, mm-hmm. I don't know, he just walk into a female bathroom, they're going to be like this. Oh, my God, what the fuck are you doing here? Somebody probably They're going to be shot. They're going to be go crazy. But no so, this, so this is what I'm saying. Listen, so this, so this is what I'm saying. It is this woman. Female bathroom is going to be a if, problem. No, that's what I'm saying. There's going to be a problem, dog. There's no more female bathroom. Everything is unisex now. Here, why I'm saying. Even if you go to your job. Bro, you walk into a female bathroom, lie, you're going to jail. What the fuck are you doing? You're not. You're no, going to jail. This is what I'm telling you. There's no more male, female bathroom. Watch. Go into any public place. They it's unisex. It's unisex. It's took it down. It's unisex. But that's no only if it's one stall. If you go into like no, a restroom. No, if it's multiple. No, if you go into a restroom with nah, multiple nah, stores, nah. I've never seen nothing they, that just says nah. restroom with multiple stores. They changed all stores. the signs at my job. They changed. Yo, I'm telling you, it's like, yeah, you, Listen, you gotta, it can't be this man, woman no more. It is discrimination. Wow. To give them their own bathroom the same way it was discrimination when there was white bathroom and black bathroom. 
I'm saying nah, that's like not that's the what, same what, thing. No, that's not it's the same not the thing. same, but it's kind of like if you <laughs> give me something just for me, just because of this is who I am, it's I'm a lit. form of discrimination. <laughs> so did anybody say no, it was a form didn't. of discrimination when it was a male and a female? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that's, that's a, a form. form of discrimination. Right. Y'all win, then. man. Y'all win. Y'all nah, win. that's fucking crazy. Time. It is. A, I'm, I'm I not understand what you're it saying. It is a form of. It is a. It's to some extent is a form it's of. Some type of discrimination. It's a form of discrimination. They need their own bathroom. You're referring them as a they. The fact you even saying they means you you have you, you're putting them in a particular group. It's like stay the fuck away from us, and that is a form of discrimination. No, we gotta think. We gotta think. We gotta have kids. My exactly. my son shouldn't have to come out of the bathroom with a hundred questions. And I believe, and I'm uh, here. I'm I'm a hundred percent in your camp on that. But that's what I'm saying. It should ha- it it should be where they are near the end of their sex change, where it's kind of like either I don't know or I'll probably have an inkling of an idea. It's not it's not the start where. I got a little bit of female features, but I'm right. looking like a fucking nigga. Right. That's right. what that's 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 what I don't don't have a drag queen look like. Right. Get right. get right. your testosterone, get your get your hormone shit right. together. Start looking like a nigga or start looking like a bitch before you right. start going going certain rest uh right. certain restrooms. But at the start, you gotta you gotta ease and press with that shit. Like, but that's that's just how it is now that you don't have to look. Remember I told you it's just to identify. Once you say you identify as something, they can't tell you not. So like yeah, I said, I can say me right now. Identify, I want to use women's locker room. They that gotta is let me true. Use I, don't think, I don't think people are that extreme now with it. Especially, I'm especially though. that they're getting getting shot and getting killed and getting bullied. This, but this point in time, they're not gonna go that extreme with it. And I'm and I spoke to a trans before. They're like, "Yo, we're just trying to live in society. We're not trying to make anybody uncomfortable because of whatever. We're just trying to live." But they're going. But to, motherfuckers, they're uncomfortable. They're going to. <laughs> but if you're going to live and you're going to do that, you have to be honest. That's just the bottom line, and I think that you should be honest from the gate. Like, look, this is what it is, and give somebody the opportunity to choose because you're playing with people's sexuality, and we all know that sexuality is very important Mm -hmm. and it's Mm -hmm. very serious in this day and age. And if you know that, why gamble with your life? And people's psych, too. You're playing with with people's psych because you, you... The, the person is attracted to what they see thinking it's one thing. Mm-hmm. And then you surprise them with the, mm-mm, there's a dick here. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the problem. All right, y'all. All right. We're going to wrap that one up, y'all. That was, Amen. That was a beautiful, intense conversation. Yo, we got to touch on every topic, man. See, see. Shout out to Bobby V. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, you I take care like, of Usher got a suit though. where he had sex with a man. Like, how y'all think yeah. that popped off? That was last week. That's that 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 bullshit. Though. Everybody going to come around, man. Those are bullshit, man. What you said? Everybody going to come around. It's like the Bill Cosby shit. Usher's not burning, son. You know what I'm saying? It's going to snow. Usher's not burning. That's a bluff. No, no. Usher's burning. Burn should burn He paid that one mil. That means he's burning. He ain't He ain't paying. My nigga, you're not paying no money if you ain't got nothing. If I just say, Black Gaming, fuck it. Herpes, you're like, listen, but I've been some people, forever. but so you, why would you pay a million dollars? Just, just that's not true because that's if true. you're, if you're, um, what do you call this? What, uh, if you're, um, famous, no, 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 I can't even think of the word right now. Uh, if you're on the line and you know that you didn't do anything, but at the same time. You know that this can literally mess you up. Negative. You might want to pay that. No, you negative. might want to pay that. Dan, yes. You, Dan, you sound crazy. My dude, what's a million dollars to Usher, Wait, bro? All right, all right. He's part owner of Cleveland. You could nothing. fuck my whole career how up with just bad friends. Listen, bad how can he fuck your it's career bad. up if I could take this test and prove I don't have no herpes? How the fuck did I give you herpes if I don't have it? You can't get rid if of it. Say, all right, so why would I pay you? This might not be the This might be. This might be wrong. This might be a wrong analogy. Why would I pay you money if I don't have it? Think about it. But what about people? What about? I ain't talking about people. You talking about okay. Usher? Okay. I don't understand what you're saying. What you're uh-huh. trying to say? But uh-huh. well, you sound crazy right now. I don't. If feel you crazy. could take a test and prove I, I don't have prove it, it. never been in my body. How can you give me bad? I just want to know, like, like what about when he made oh, when Lord. when he made Let It Burn? Did he have That's it already? You can't prove that. Go, you could go on the you list. You can't prove an allegation. Then How you DNA? Me. What are you talking? For you can't prove. First of all, you can't prove. Hold on, we way off topic. But no girl ever got raped with a condom. You can't yeah, get DNA, so done. how you gonna get DNA? But my thing is this, it could be an allegation and you might not have done anything, you might not have touched that. As soon as she cry rape, you go on the list, you can go to jail, I like understand. it fucks up your whole credibility. I understand what you're saying, that's a bad analogy though. No, but I'm because just saying. Because HIV, herpes, yeah, stay a, in your yeah, system. Yeah, it's a rapist list, it's a rapist list. If you, list. Get, if you go in the neighborhood, list. you gotta Watch like, you gotta, especially if you're a pedophile. That's but a bad like, analogy. Even if you didn't do it, you get put on that list for a long time. What? Yes. 
allegations put you on the list. And this is what I'm Lifetime saying. Lifetime STDs you can prove. What? Easy. Okay. I didn't know that. Simple. That's like that's like you paying a, a person oh, yeah. child support, a girl child support, <laughs> saying you the father. And I can simply take a <laughs> DNA test and say that's not my kid. Yeah. Why would I give you two million dollars and you saying I'm the father? I'm like no. I'm I get what he's saying. Shit. You could you could prove. And you can prove it's it. Got or you don't. A hundred percent. Exactly. Is you got or you don't? I'm a fool to give free money away. I don't care. I want to know. Did he make let it burn before or after? I like. I really want to. That's what it's made for. You want to. That's my only we, question. We, for. All right, all right. we don't get back to another topic because we talked about us already, but I just had to shut Danny now because you sound oh, crazy right there. <laughs> nah, Dan, Nigga, Danny made a valid point. Thank I like, you. I like people that. will pay. Like, like, they will literally they pay. Just get the problem out of here. Yeah, just get the problem out of here. Like, here, look, just yeah, take, take that because I don't want to deal with it. You won't pay for allegation. If you won't pay for nothing, you could prove it. I can guarantee you, out of that million, she's going to Bali. He probably didn't even want to go out his way to show papers. I'm just saying. It could be true. It could be true. It might be true, but it what I'm saying true. is, chicks is still do. gonna fuck okay. Usher, bro. Rule, rule, yeah, still. They're still gonna fuck. Niggas too. Listen, he can let's, still get to, let's get to the next part, man. Next topic, uh, we gonna talk about exes. Oh God. Um, yeah, breaking up God, is hard to do. Dang. Let's do it, man. We gonna talk about that. Uh, have you ever drunk text or called your ex? Like, let me say, like, called them, begging for another chance or. It's, it's getting like going super emotional. Like, God oh, damn! This, this and that, like damn. It all out. <laughs> <laughs> you did? No, no, no! I, I did. You Someone did, did to you me. Did. I just told Ty the story the other day. So I'm like, God uh, damn! Like, I have no recollection like, of that conversation. Uh, all right, so <laughs> yo, this fucking this story fresh. So. This fucking Bronx shit, yes. and this the chick that was hating Here too. Here you go with the Bronx. Here you go, guys. This ahead. chick from the Bronx. That's what like, you get for messing with girls from the Bronx. Yo, I, <laughs> yo, this is the crazy part. I didn't really. You know, but that's neither here or there. Come on, yeah, it's, it's always that the question. Really. But so, this chick one day, you know, after I didn't situate her situation the way she wanted me to situate it, you know, I guess she got drunk and she called me and she started crying and talking about how we should be together and we'll make a power couple and all the stupid shit. And I was just like, what? Like, what are you talking? About? Like, why are you on this phone talking like this? Like, I'm not gonna be with you, shorty. You're from the Bronx. I'm not taking that drive. And you're not that lit. Like, get the fuck out of here. You understand? But it, it I mean, it feel good to have people cry over you and want to be with you that bad. But then they start hating on all your posts and not liking your vacation pictures. But they don't got no, because their passport is limited. They don't got no stamps like that. That's my little story. I am black success. I'm back. How you doing? Danny, how you feel? Did you ever do that? Drunk text? Um, I never drunk. drunk I never drunk text. But yeah, I've text and poured out my feelings. And then, you know, I got back to my, you know, my thug shit. And pulled my panties up and I got back to it. But yeah. I'm... How did that go? He was like, fuck out of here. <laughs> no. <laughs> he didn't answer. A word? Yeah. <laughs> wow. He, he just sent like, you the voice that that I was just like, like okay. That shit. nigga is the coolest nigga out. So. He don't feel that way right now, though. But whatever. But you said them that whole... 12 pages. No, he, I don't. He didn't give you the case. I'm sending you a 12 page letter. And I'm going to close it with that case. I didn't even answer. He didn't even give you a case. He just nope. said nothing. No, nope. he didn't give me nothing. I was just like, okay. Back up, how many times you got drunk? You get drunk all the time, so I already know you didn't. I was sober yourself. when I did it. For real? That's what I said. I, I need a closure. I had, I had a moment because, like, it was this my, my ex, they all called my roommate or whatever. The one I was running the shelter for. Her. Oh, and <laughs> the one you're taking care of. <laughs> Asshole. But um, uh, I think like the the the, the relationship ended, and I had so many questions. And I went on for an entire year. I was seeing different people I was dating, but I just couldn't connect with anybody. So I was like, you know what? I need to know what the fuck is wrong with me. So let me just ask this <laughs> motherfucker. I needed to know some real shit. Like I. I wanted to fix my insides before I fuck somebody else's son up. So, <laughs> so I, I hit him up. I was like, yo, I need to talk to you, blah, 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 blah. Nice, civil. He's like, okay, well, can, we can meet. Even that was his reaction. He said, we can meet. I was like, I see you want to talk. And then when I got there, you know, I sat down and we talked. You know, and that's when I started, I, I let it all out and I started to cry. And I was like, I had this shit, shit on my chest for the past year and whatever, whatever. He started crying too. He was like, I feel the same way. That's because he was living with you and wasn't paying no rent or no nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta pay rent now. He started, he started crying too. 
nigga said, I gotta pay rent now. You know, he had a whole girlfriend from the time we were together, and then him and his girlfriend broke up, and like part of the reason he cl- allegedly, uh, what part of the reason they Men couldn't be together. Men don't cry, son. Yes, they cried. do. Y'all yeah, motherfuckers cry like yeah, this. Sure I don't but cry, son. Allegedly, I you said, like, you the first Allegedly, the reason cry. him and his girl broke up is because the girl felt he wasn't over me. The girl felt he was in love with me still. The girl felt like I've been through Allegedly, because you can't trust these motherfuckers. And after that, we made, we, we made it not a try at it, but that's we tried the second time and make it past a month and a half. I was like, yeah, it was really over and I got my closure and I got cookie. But he Shout cried. Out I cried. Shout out my boy Cookie. Planet Fitness. They can say he go to Planet Fitness. <laughs> Chill, he gotta have all them Rasta pastas right downstairs. Uh, Facts. Wait, Yo, four o'clock. Uh have you ever social media store? Yeah, X? Of course. You didn't answer the question. Don't worry about it. You have your social media. You see how he tried to like really swindle. That was good. You didn't answer the question, bro. That was good. Then he was on that tile just that. On it. I know. Have you ever social media? No, he didn't answer. Doesn't matter. It does matter. You asking us everybody's asking questions. I've never been in that situation. I don't know. (laughs) You I'm don't sorry. know you lying. We well, only had two girlfriends your whole life. Who's yeah. that? Exactly. And then when I get drunk, my friends take my phone. They look out for me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, shout out to all my friends. They don't let me drunk text. You know what I'm saying? That's they put it in my pocket. They put it, you know what I'm saying? Turn my shit off. Yo, bro. make sure y'all get y'all fucking brunch tickets, man. Right, I'm tired of y'all bum ass mom. Get your no, brunch no, no. tickets. Oh, oh, Hold on. Oh, 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 August 27th. No, let it sell out. <laughs> 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 let it sell out. Let them close to the door like always. That's how I got to talk, though. Did you uh, ever social media stalk them? Stalk like, yeah, everybody stalks. Mm-hmm. Everybody, stalks. everybody, everybody stalks. don't stalk. Everybody. Y'all I never pass stalk. by nobody's. Like, I, I mean, let me see what's up with this. Exactly. That's oh, y'all sick. on vacation? All right, bet, do. nigga. All and right. males do too. I've seen it. Her ass I getting fat, her waist getting right, little. Better question. Woo. Could you admit if your ex leveled up after you? Yes. I you could admit, admit it? it. Yeah. Did your ex level up after? No. You? How you know? <laughs> He's a liar. No. He's a liar. no. <laughs> not your ex girlfriend is not lit right now. Oh, you trying to be funny? <laughs> I'm trying to be funny. Because you say it, no. I'm asking. You. First you of got all, ex right? girlfriends. I don't have any ex girlfriends. I say your ex girlfriend. She guilty, oh. bro. <laughs> Nobody oh, guilty. I say your yeah, ex girlfriend now. Like, was it a level your up or did he step down? It definitely wasn't. Why? Why would you say that? Um. So you. You, you're, like I said, you're live right now saying his girlfriend's not fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Black? Any type yeah, of love. Right. What? Did I yeah, have a what? Yeah, Yo, this shit crazy. No girl. Head. Listen to me. No the girl. Is, like, listen, like that, dog, bro. listen. I got mad dope outfits. But yo, listen. <laughs> no chick I ever messed with ever got with a better guy a after better, me. A better, a better <laughs> guy after me, dog. Like my dude, I'm I'm just better than everyone, boy. Like I'm well, just, the fucking time I'm just now. <laughs> yeah, this is serious. I'm, I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest to ever live. So I'm the greatest, son. Okay, I cook, R. Kelly. I clean. You feel me? We eating booty. We doing it all. You feel me, son? And I pay the bills. You feel me? He pay all the bills. No, he pay all the bills. I'm not paying all he the bills. He pay fifty five percent of the bills. Yeah, fuck that. I know I'm a good girlfriend. So at the end of the day, like. Being a good girlfriend if, don't mean if he, if, no, 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 no. If, no, no, no. if they got better, then you wasn't if, shit. No, that's not but true. That's, that's yes. not true. That's not true. That's not true. Yes, nobody true. ever dealt with ever got better. Nobody. No, Cause not bitches one. Because choice you know. box bore. If you, you can't get better after you, what's wrong with them? No, it's hard. It's hard to go public after you have me. How you gonna go public with a regular nigga? It's fucked up. It's you fucked up. You done. You done reached the stars, baby. You reached. is back. You reached. My passport is stamped up. I'm on my second passport. It's stamped the <laughs> fuck up. Do you know what I mean? So just because your passport is stamped up, that means that nobody's better than you. She probably messed with somebody that drove to Atlanta. You know what I mean? <laughs> he, had a, he had a day to waste. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm on a plane, bitch. We got Wi-Fi. Shout out to Delta. Lies on you. Tanya, could you admit it? I could admit uh, if... Is your ex... He has a girlfriend now? Uh, I don't know now because I'm off the shit. I'm on my cookie. Mm-hmm. But before, the girl he picked up before, all of my friends were like, nigga. And I told him, I was like, this She nigga. was, nigga, like, she's trash or she's, like, kind of Like, lit. I'm like, after me, bro? Like, I, I, but I think it's, I prefer, I prefer after me. Mm-hmm. And you go be with somebody and you love up. I was like, yeah. I could yeah, respect that. My brother said, that he's like, my brother's like, yo, after you break up with somebody, like, go one step up from them. You know, you have gotta to. do it. You have to. When niggas go one step down, you start questioning. Because I'm like, yeah. you, you, have have to. Like, you just like, what the, 
like, what like, you did? That's why people don't be posting shit. That's yeah, why when you see exactly. chicks go on them random vacations and she only posts her, know it's somebody taking a picture, homie. Exactly. It's somebody oh, taking a yeah. picture. Same and she don't want to post him. In my she opinion, don't want to post opinion, him. I it's the help. The, for the most part, I didn't know the girl personally, Tasha. so I'm not going to sit here and say she did, she did, she did. But just from the outside perspective, all of my friends are random niggas. It's like... That nigga plays you like this, not to you gotta move the fuck on. Like, don't even go back to that nigga. Like, the, the girl he chose was enough of my friends be like, yo, move on. This nigga show you something right here with this particular move. Exactly. This move. He, just he be looking that's like, 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 they, he, show, he showed you who he was by the girl he chose after you. I'm like, yeah. maybe she yeah, make, I'm like, yeah. but maybe Ooh, she making deep. him happy. That's deep. But my thing is, they show you who they are by who they choose after exactly. you. Exactly. That's deep. And this is why none of the chicks ever bounce back. Yo, I'm telling you, son, <laughs> this Haitian shit that I got, the moves that I oh, do, God. this shit is crazy. Crazy son, after me, I there is you, no more. You moves. just be this single, they you're just, just be single. single. <laughs> after me, you're, you're single and move to the Bronx, and it's <laughs> over for you. You wear Remy Ma shoes and listen to Cardi B. These are blood shoes. No, those are Aldo, bitch. Those are Aldo. <laughs> the fuck out of here, fashion over ass motherfucker. First of all, don't play fashion over. I like right. fashion, Nova. but yeah, he, he showed who he was after that, and like. And I know she wasn't the level up because they're still not together. They didn't make it past a year. Mm-hmm. They didn't make it past a fucking year. If you upgraded my nigga, you're supposed to go to bed. I'm better. Makes you hold on stronger. You wouldn't last longer. You couldn't make it past a fucking year. But you got to understand, too, that some guys, they you can be too much for them. You know what I, I mean? What like, you mean? Women, what you mean? Like, you can be too much. You can be too much, much for a he's guy. He's not ready at that point in time. Exactly. He's not, he's not, and he has like, a lot of potential. I have exes who they... You look at who they're dating or who they deal with, and it's just like, you serious? Like you're you're not gonna level up at all. But that's because they may feel a way about themselves. So mm. they they want to date somebody that's under them or that looks a certain type mm. of way or that acts a certain type of way because it makes them feel better Facts. as a man. Facts. Like I've seen it. And, all, and, and and also also I think. When the ex is not really over you, it's hard for them to move on because yeah. now they're they're thinking about what you're gonna think about the next person. You're not over the person yet, then. Mm-hmm. He ain't posted. You're not over the. That's yo, true. there's a lot of people not posted being posted, bro. son. There's a lot. And of I see a lot of hookah posted. blowing out. <sighs> Somebody <laughs> pay the bills, son. Post your person, son. Y'all doing a lot of fucking not to be posting nobody. Nah, mm-hmm. some something fishy you got, going on. You got chicks that go out their way to, to prove to the ex that they got the man, and the man not even posting them. <laughs> now, I, know, I kind of feel like black. If your I man don't like post you, you ain't like, shit. It, it's kind of hard to like surpass this right, this train <laughs> man. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> you just start liking guys, so. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody could pass none of the WNBA players you fucked with. <laughs> Nobody be sitting there cooping over a lot of your body, son. A lot of you on your body, son. A lot of you on your body, son. It don't matter, though. Let us have it, Whether girls like me or whether guys like me, it doesn't matter. You like me. It's all right. Go play for that team. Whatever. I ain't say I was playing for the team, but I'm just saying. Whatever. I feel like black. Like I said, I put myself on a pedestal. I try to be the best person I can be. So you got to be great. You like see, you, you see, it's kind of, it's kind of tough. I'm sorry. Let me, just, let me just, let me just say, let me just say one more thing. I want to talk to the kids, dudes. Your girl, everything, your kids. Fellas, you focus on black. Fellas, focus on me real quick. <laughs> this is the truth, right? Like when you get someone that you like, you gotta be the best you. This is when your outfits gotta be the best. Your body gotta be the best. The way you talk, your wordplay, your texts gotta be the best. Your dinner, the best. You gotta be the best you. You see the problem with a lot of people, this is true. Psychologically, we try to be better after it's over. No, that's how you lost the person. You wasn't your best. I'm the best me. (laughs) It don't get no better. I got mad outfits, my nigga. I swear <laughs> to God. Yo, I swear to God, Jesus. I could shut shit the fuck down. I'm the best of me right now. So she be tight. She be like, why you getting fly? Because I got too much outfits. We can't waste these shit. We got to put it out. I got mad supreme in my closet on ice. Like, I'm just waiting to kill y'all niggas. Invite me someplace, please. Please. <laughs> back to you, La. I'm back, man. I'm back. What's up? <laughs> What's the craziest thing you've done to an ex? 
Uh, like, I want to say that yeah. live. Oh, no, like, right? <laughs> y'all don't want to say that. Y'all judge the I want to. I want to. I want to hear some crazy shit. We like, judging you anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm right <laughs> crazy you. slash Yo, like man, petty. Can we, What's the craziest can we, can we slash? Edit this petty? part out. Like, nah, 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 nah. Can we edit this part? Cookie don't hear it. Bring it to us. What's the craziest slash pettiest thing? Like, like you know, I he was, out at a restaurant. You go pull up. Oh, no. Knowing I, damn well. I went. I went mm-mm. All right. So few, quite a few years ago, when I was real, when I was younger. I'm gonna use that excuse. When I was younger, um, the person that I was engaged to at that point in time, in that phase of my life, we broke up. Um, I will admit there was a lot of domestic violence in that relationship. Uh, I was. He's an immigrant. This is in Guyana, so I we knew were, it. We were both unimmigrants at that time, point in time. We were home, <laughs> you know. And I, it was, it was a very abusive relationship. It was emotionally abusive. Like I got, I was thrown out of stairs, and I was pregnant. I've been through some shit with that nigga. And after everything happened, I broke up with him, and I was trying to move on. He wouldn't let me. He's really one of those motherfuckers, like them real, I own you for life type of person. And it was one point in time like he got in some beef with some guys in the street. He dislocated his entire jaw. Like real beef. I'm talking about real beef. He got some beef. Dislocated his jaw, so they back together. And then even after that, he would see me out, and he would... Like, he was still trying to rough me up one time. Like, he, he would still try to fuck with me. He would still try to hit me, even though we weren't together. He was that type of person. So I was like, I got some for that ass. And I started to mess around with the person that dislocated his jaw. Oh, he was a grimy motherfucker. Nah, that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. But I'm fuck saying, you she up. like, yeah, I did. Wow, that's but crazy. But you know what's crazy? It got him <laughs> off my crazy. ass. I look at you I all differently now. That's what I'm saying. You could judge the fuck out of me. I'm but judging you. <laughs> but like the person that tried to kill you, yeah. That's Cause crazy. I knew he loved the shit out of me. It's like that's how, I it got him off my ass, I swear to you. It got he 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 I was dead to him at that point in time. But I wanted it because he he wasn't letting me be at peace. You already fucked my life up so much, you damaged me literally inside. You mess my friendship up, you do all that. I'm trying to move on, you still not letting me move on. I'm coming for your neck, nigga. You like, just I know bad as Mariah Lynn. I told you Sucking I relate the best to the soul, my nigga. Like, <laughs> but these are blood shoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. But listen, like, if, I, if I'm tell you something, like, if, if, if I love a man and a man loves me, I know exactly what to do to fuck him up and fuck with him. I go for jugulars. I don't, I don't text. I don't. That's why you went a little Kunta Kente neck collar Kunta today. Kunta Kente on the, on the motherfucking <laughs> neck, son. On the motherfucking neck, son. I got, I got, I got oppressed history. Like I got some shit to let out, but. I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I'm not gonna make a habit of, I'm not gonna make a habit of trying to hurt people. I don't like hurting people, but I know if to hurt somebody, exactly how to fucking hurt you. I'm coming for your jugular, nigga. Mm. You gonna remember me till the day you die. You probably die first, fucking with me nah, like nah. that. <laughs> <laughs> she did what? Them niggas broke and my that's motherfucking a, shit. That's a crazy story, son. Everybody um, said Danny, you can't laugh. Danny. <laughs> You want to tell us anything that you did? What you did? You cut his hair off because he had dreads. Stole nigga do? basketball shorts. Yeah, you do? <laughs> dug in his wallet. Took, took his dollar. Jordans. What'd you do, baby? Tell us. I spit on somebody. <gasps> you did what? That's the like craziest it. thing. Yeah, I like it. I ain't it. do nothing. Um, did, I he, did he slap you? Some niggas like getting spit on. <laughs> he pushed you. That's it. I like getting spit on. But um, I was at that point. But it was it was it was a situation. But at that point, I just felt so disrespected that I just lost respect. And I would have slapped this. And shit I feel like that's you spit that in his face or like on him, like his body. I just spit in his face. You didn't catch his face. I didn't give a fuck. I don't know. I might have. I'm not sure. You gotta aim straight. Then. But um, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> She's a I'm professional not. spinner over there. <laughs> I mean, I got. <laughs> yeah, right there. The the that's the most disrespectful <laughs> shit. Right it's some bad shit to the gap. <laughs> That yeah. is this. No flim can get through the gap. No, so if, that is if like she water. said through the gap, no flim can get through nah, the gap. So I kind of like, <laughs> like I kind of like I was being real disrespectful. I knew exactly what I was doing. Like I was being real disrespectful. I, I'm not, I'm not really into pettiness. Like where I'm, like, oh, I'm gonna get you back. I'm gonna do this. I don't have time for that. Mm. You know what I mean? But if I feel disrespected, I get a hundred percent disrespectful with no care about your mother, your grandmother, your two year old. Like I don't care. Mama so, against these hands. Yeah. These hands are real. But <laughs> I'm just, it was just, it was that type of situation where it was like, okay, I feel like you're being disrespectful. And at this point, I really don't care. That like, might be the only time you probably just slap the dog shit out of a female. She's spitting your dog. That's kind of. 
<laughs> Next thing no. is slap. My dude. I think I probably let a girl slap me before she probably cock spit in my face. If a chick spit in she my face, she went rose and Titanic on a nigga. No, I'm slapping the shit out of her. That was a powerful spit. I don't remember that spit. I'm gonna wipe the shit off Listen my face me. and slap the Femme. shit out of her. If a chick violate, I got seven sisters, all active. So like, <laughs> and not gonna make it to how you how you how you want to play this, yeah, man. Stop playing sisters, with me, man. One of my like? sisters, uh, you know, um, I never really, I never really done nothing to be honest with you. I'm, I'm like anybody did something to you. You crying a little bit. Um, you look like you just cry. You know, you know. Of course, you get your, your, you know, your regular stalkers, the fake, you know, the text free numbers and stuff like that. But it's like with me. When you think, when you believe that your greatness, I believe like after me, you can't get better. Jesus is not gonna bless you like that. So it's like I don't do nothing. If it doesn't work out for us, I let you be because this is great. Nobody else is gonna like son. Like so honestly, you? now that I got, now that I got sushi, shit is just like business is different. My, I, I'm not coming outside unless the check is involved. I'm charging for fucking pictures now. Oh, I'm charging for pictures now. If Yo, you need a picture, like, 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 I'm coming out. If you need a picture, y'all better catch me in my good outfit. Yes, they're gonna charge somebody $20. Oh. No, but this is serious. It's the, you it's charge the somebody $20 for $20, a picture with $20 you? $20 right now. This is what it is. So it's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like this shit is crazy. This shit is crazy. I'm the best of me. I'm engaged, my nigga. I'm not coming outside unless it's a checking ball. Yo, yo I'm this nigga is so confident. I'm this black. Yo, I'm this black. No, this is sick. Yeah, you, you missed him. Yeah, you missed him. Last week, nobody missed him. I'm, I, I went on the air saying I didn't miss black. Y'all was like, no, nah, fuck it. He don't need to be here. You're saying it. You're saying You're saying it. 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 you I'll be looking at you put like, ramen noodles I'm the with the best hot sauce. Me. I'm the best. <laughs> I'm the best. You know what I mean? It's gonna get no better. Uh, Buddha is not gonna bless you any better because you know that's, that's what they that's like. <laughs> Buddha not gonna bless you any more than this. You feel me? This is it. Top of pyramid. I never did nothing crazy. Never. I, I just feel like just do I'm nothing. super. Because do I don't anything. know. Hey, I'm, I'm kind of lying. I'm lying. I know he's lying. I know he's lying. I know there's no way. No, no, no. Way. I'm dead ass. Like I'm just. Lies I'm super detached. Dude, even if I be even if you're hurt, detached, it don't matter. You have an ego. I don't, don't, don't want to hear that. I don't Yo, you got the biggest ego at this whole fucking table. You got the biggest ego at this entire table. Exactly. Tell everybody how big my ego is. First of all, Cookie gonna get mad. I got a big ego. Yeah. Yeah. Cookie yeah. Cookie yeah. I ain't trying to fight with no little midges. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's right. how I'm a fucking boogie. That's how I'm a fucking boogie. You're gonna get that text like, I'm downstairs, let me up. I'm downstairs, let me up. It's hard to say. Cookie working out to my bottom, bottom, bottom. This is where the family just brought the bird food. Like I'm on. That nigga coming and brought the boogie. Hey, lie. Niggas think he in the 80s like a dance battle. Yeah, I'm going on, nigga. Serious. Shout out to Black Success. He's back in the building. It is an ego thing. Oh I think I don't God. do nothing crazy just for oh that type of response. Like, this nigga just don't give a fuck. Even though I probably do, I still wouldn't do nothing. I just try just to live my life point. and go, not prove a point. I just, I know life goes on. If it ain't life or death, I'm a, everybody's going to be all but, right. But even if life That's goes on, you still, sometimes you get in, you get in your feelings or you get in your bag where it's like, don't try to play me. Like, don't try to play me. But you I got some shit nothing. that you need to get off your chest. Yeah. I've been there. It's nah. like, when you feel played, and you feel like, nah, you're about feel to listen to play this. somebody that you fuck with, this something crazy. Like, in her situation, if I was her ex, then it'd be lit. Because you fucking with the, my enemy. Like, you yeah, know yeah, how yeah, I feel crazy. about this nigga, and you gonna violate me like that. Nigga try to I never got violated enemy. doing some type that. of shit like that where mm -hmm. I need to really respond or try to show you, like, all right, this is what it is. But other than that, if it's just like a, like a breakup, just let that shit be, man. Eventually, y'all be... 
good again later on in the future, man. People need to grow. Do this some crazy true. shit, man. This is true. I ain't with that. Lies about peace and unity. Nah, this nigga about peace and unity. <laughs> <laughs> He's mad light skinny. You got a brunch. Yeah, you got a Michael Kors watch on, man. Don't believe him, y'all. <laughs> y'all see what that is. GMC <laughs> Rolex when I both flex, though, y'all. Right? Yo. Passport lit, yeah. Oh, gosh. This nigga got a yeah, slogan. I'm feeling for myself. Every... I don't know what Black really got a slogan for everything. Like, he had Black a got a Rolex with an Black H&M shirt on. <laughs> that might be Zara. Might be Zara. That was good. <laughs> I got this with Staten Island, man. Shout out to Bridge Boys. Straight up. That shit's still cheap, but. <laughs> I made $50 for this, huh? You did? Make a rate. Get your money right? back. I got so she said, I'm bring it back to him tomorrow. You could have made that. That's a fact. I'm going to bring it back to him. Reef, you owe me $50. Reef. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Nothing but peace and love. But uh, we had the end of the show. Damn, yeah. that was fast. Man, that was fast. That's what she said. <laughs> no, like, yeah, oh, that's right. fucked up if she that's said that. Good. We don't care. That's that's we don't, you gotta get yours, my you G. Life is too short. Yo, yo, life is too life short. Is too short. Time you. is like money. I be out there following. making a dollar. You told want me to be humping you I all be day. I taking pictures and shit. That's what I'm talking about. Life is I short. Hate, I hate when a chick. Like, sometimes chicks be having good pussies, so you nut fat, and then they complain why you nut fat. Your shit good. What you want me to do? That's a fact. Not to complain, but what if she want to go again? Nah, my nigga, this always tomorrow. You... Hey, yo, it's called <laughs> now and later. Yo, so black, what if now she got later? energy? She might have and energy. You know black say, yo, any chick wants second round, she a hoe. Exactly. <laughs> that's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. But that's why you got some toys. Take this little one night, go it's home. Now, now and later, son. That's the dumbest shit. I've that's why you get some toys. Why you want two? Yeah, get a toy. Yeah, yeah get a toy. Man, man double A batteries. Yo, double A batteries on like a dollar. Play with the Yorkie. Yo, son, you remember that way where everybody wanted a Yorkie? Like yeah, they, they, everybody just wanted a Yorkie. Go get you a rabbit and be happy, man. The fuck Let me out go out here. Make this money. Your bum money ass want a Yorkie in a project. All my shit is rechargeable. A thousand dollar dog. You, you got paying six, six hundred dollar rent. Lights? Nah, Dumb we got, man. we got the rechargeable ones. We need, oh, we don't do it on. Um, you got rechargeable ones. A sex toy. <laughs> my sister, <laughs> my Pure sister, for she it. works for. Uh, we know. Pure Pure romance. For it. What's that? A sex store? It's, it's kind, it's an online sex. store. They got the beads. Your sister got an online sex store. But you like put the beads in the butt. In the butt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then yeah, you take it out and the shit smell like shit. I'm out of the shit. I put all the interior. Yo, black. Yo. Black. Me and Cookie is going to dance battle. I promise you. It's, <laughs> it's going to dance. We have had a brunch. <laughs> the battle of the dog skin. I think I'm going to bring up the cover scene. Cookie, cookie, you know, like, the winner, <laughs> the winner <laughs> going against Kevin Hart, son. That's, it. <laughs> That's a fact, son. The battle of the dog skin, son. This shit Yo, is crazy. Let's man. wrap it up. Give your shout outs. I mean, what, what um, you want to start it off? What um, small time business you featuring this week? Um... Them dog collars. Shout out to you the African lady at the dog. You fucking dickhead. <laughs> nah, I gotta give you a shout out. That's dope, though. Shout out this to the small my, um, these business, are, black business, too. Yes, this is uh for uh Khadija Cool. She has a, a collection called Crave Collection. Uh, they specialize in, you know, these kente chokers. She got some nice little African ear, uh, earrings. She got some nice little African... um. Uh, key rings I got a couple in my house every time I put this shit on everybody loves it like I don't know if it's some people don't see off that I mean I saw it I loved it and they're actually very 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 affordable um Crave Collection K- Crave with a K find it on Facebook uh shout out to Khadija I'll keep up the good work that's what's up shout out to the Crave um and all my people that fuck with me love y'all ain't about two of them niggas <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Danny. Um, shout out to everybody who's been joining in and supporting. Make sure you support August twenty seventh. Are you giving Day everybody Party a dub? Are you gonna prove that you're a girl to all these guys? They, they keep they... asking me. Listen, my dub is real. Dub? For the my first brunch, she, she had on she had on leggings and heels. No, y'all. no, no. She had a cat suit on. <laughs> she had a cat suit on. Ooh. Cat woman. And I ain't gonna lie. She was looking for Batman, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> You know she wasn't about. in Dubai. That camera was out. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! That camera was out. And it she was had in Dubai. a sister with us, so you know, man, we bring the sister that sells out. sex toys. That's no, the same that one? wasn't Bro. the sister that sells sex toys. <laughs> but she used them, so she gonna be. There. Um, shout out to Kiara. I love you. You've been a major support. Um, shout out to my sisters. Shout out to my fam. Shout out to my mother. She's the real MVP. I love you to death. Could you do a little dance? Shout out to my father. He's the real MVP. I love him to death. Yup, it's family feud edition. I love my family. I love, I love them. Fellas, she got a guy in her life. 
She got she got a father. Her father. I have a she father. Not no. make bad I know. decisions. Her father. <laughs> That's it? Or your shout outs? Yeah, that's it. Follow me on Instagram at your favorite tomboy. You'll see me in the comments. Then I'm a Jack. And go ahead, Black. I don't know. Now, I'll let Black finish because, you know, that's just what he do. We missed yeah. the C over there. Tuna. Whoa, whoa, Talk whoa. Talk about the train. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, Cat Daddy, what's going on? Talk, uh, back to the train, you know? <laughs> nah, um, Handsome 15 Instagram, Live Brown, Facebook. I don't know. I really got no shout outs today. Just shout out to everybody that's been supporting us. Shout out to us. that tight shirt. This shirt your shirt nice. fit today. I'm so proud of you. Tight, you didn't wear your baby gap your shirt. <laughs> your titties, <laughs> titties in and out. Yeah, you, know you didn't have to wear your pasties today on your titties. Like, I'm nah, so proud of you. I didn't have to do that, man. <laughs> I cool see you shirt. ain't got on shorts today. You want to come up all that like mayonnaise on your thighs. That's a good shirt. So I like that shirt. It's <laughs> cool. That's a good right. shirt. It's all right. You want to borrow it? I know you wear polos to the club and all. I do. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm, dressing, I'm dressing just like a boy for yeah. at, on August 27th. It's okay. So. We no it's judgment here. Shout out to the no trans community. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> shout out to the trans community. <laughs> I can't stand him. Other than that, um, this everybody that's been fucking with us, um, like I said, August 27th, get your tickets now. Don't be hitting me talking about, oh, why the tickets? Y'all already know what's going to happen. Y'all already seen, your people that was there, y'all already seen how it looked. It's going to be a good event. Let's end the summer with a bang. Let's go have fun before it's back to school, back to work and all day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let's end this brunch day party, rooftop, photo booth, Rasta pasta. Like, you can't beat that Church shit, man. Church chicken. We ain't going to talk about the joke. I don't like immigrants, but... <laughs> Real good man. food, good unlimited sangria. Let's get it. Like you might as well get your For shit. Three right hours. Now, get there on time. Get you know there on time. iTunes, oh, Facebook, right. Instagram, all that, y'all. Follow us, Brown Holy Water. Man. I'm out of here, man. Yeah. Black. New Take team. us out. Welcome oh, back. God. And yeah, goodbye. Yeah, yeah, y'all already know it's your boy. I'm back. Passport all stamped up and shit. We don't take local trips. You feel me? We 24 <laughs> hour flights and all that shit. It's kind of time we're on right now. But what I'm telling you is this. Focus on me real quick. August 27th. August 27th, yeah, bring that closer. August 27th, it is going down. I need you to get your tickets. I need you to get it right now because what's happening right now is that the world is changing. As the world is spinning, the world is changing. And this is like a stamp on a passport. When you come, it's like a stamp. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, when you gotta go this nigga through, theme music, his own it, theme it, music. It's going through shit. So like, what I'm trying to tell you is that get your tickets right now. What are you waiting for? Unlimited Rasta pasta. Unlimited jerk chicken, free sangria. Motherfucker, you ain't never had shit free before. <laughs> you ain't never what had the- it. You feel me? We trying to get this to you. This for you. And for all my people in relationships, be the best you. Be the best you. Best outfit. Don't wait till they leave you. Be the best you. Get the flyest, nigga. Get the most money, nigga. Get to work 30 minutes early. So I just, I just be at work. I ain't supposed to be there. <laughs> <laughs> Be the best you! Be the best you, my nigga! My man Preacher's gonna play the motherfucker outro, intro, and we can get the fuck out of here. Shout out to Danny. She, that's Danny. That's the time, boy. Danny, my man, Max and Baby Shout out to She's both black off the intro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> You know what I mean? Real shout out to my man, singer. Dwayne, first class photo booth. You know what I mean? Get y'all tickets, y'all. Shower. Get y'all tickets. I'm telling y'all, y'all already know. Get your tickets. August 27th. I got more money than all of y'all. I'm the greatest of all time. Great. Some real shit, grab a cup, catch a vibe. Every Sunday you're seven, we getting you baptized. Giving out all these blessings on facts, no lies. Supporting the movement that caps on the rise. I got that brown. Holy water wherever I go. Make sure you like, share, comment, and follow. Talk, drink, share the link. Don't forget to let us know what you think. I got that brown. Holy water. Come get that brown. Holy water. We got that brown. Holy water. Come get that brown. Holy water. I got that brown. Holy water. Come get that brown. Holy water. We got that brown. Holy water. We got that brown.